Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you a little bit about a comment I got on the last video I did. Now the last video was my first 90 days in the Philippines and the comment was from Joseph and he asked, did he have enough money to retire into the Philippines? And this is a very common question I get and I get it quite often. We'll go over his amount of money that he has and his savings here in a moment. But first, I want to tell you about a live stream that I watched the other day. And I want to recommend it to you to watch. It's from a guy named Alo D. Winter. And personally, I don't watch his stuff um, for many different reasons. Doesn't seem like a bad chap, but, you know, it's just not my cup of tea. But he had a friend of mine on as a special guest. He had Filipina Unfiltered. Corinne from Las Vegas, and she was um, a special guest, and I wanted to hear what she had to say, and I wanted to hear the topics that they were talking about. I'll leave a link down in the bottom in my description to this live stream, and this is something I don't do. I usually don't put other people's videos uh, as a link in my description, but it was an interesting live stream. I think it's one of his best live streams, but Corinne was fabulous in this live stream and you have to watch it she's funny she's beautiful smart uh, she has everything going for her she's a filipina uh, that is a u.s citizen lives in las vegas but comes to the philippines to visit and she has her own youtube channel uh filipina unfiltered and uh, check it out but also in the live stream uh, there was a comment made or a statement made that they're tired of hearing budget videos. Uh, the one thing they don't like to hear, and they were talking about YouTubers and different topics, how the same topics are repeated over, uh, are the budget videos. And the, the one guest said, if I hear one more budget video, I'm gonna go crazy. And uh, he says, whenever he sees a budget video, he just swipes right on by. And that is something people have the right to do. I've told everybody in my audience and everybody uh, that I've talked to, you have one right as a viewer is to not to watch somebody. Subscribing or unsubscribing doesn't affect the channel hardly at all. Watching the videos is what affects the channel. If you don't like a channel, don't watch it. They don't get any revenue from you. If you like them, watch it. Then they receive some revenue uh, from your view. But as for budget videos, I have a, a disagreement with they're needed. And when I was thinking of coming to the Philippines, that's all I watched was budget videos. I couldn't get enough budget videos. Uh, I didn't want to use their budget. I wasn't going to go and live how they live, but I would find people of similar age, similar lifestyles, uh, similar interests, and see what they spent their money on. Just double checking to make sure I could afford to make the move to the Philippines. And the other thing is, every day there's new people coming onto the platform. There's new people checking out the Philippines as a place to retire. You know, I have 33,000 subscribers. The first few subscribers are gone. They don't, they don't watch anymore. They're, they're already here in the Philippines. They don't watch YouTube anymore. But every day I get new subscribers and I get new questions about the budget. So that means there's an interest in the budget it keeps developing as new people come and are interested in retiring into the Philippines, leaving the U.S. and coming, coming to a different country. And they're just double checking their money. You know, just before you decide you're leaving, uh, you have doubts. Is my money strong enough? Am I going to be able to survive uh, health care issues and cost of living and how much rent is and where's a good place to live? People are interested and they watch YouTube. It's the niche we're in. If you don't like budget videos and you don't like talking about budgets, uh, just swipe, don't watch. Uh, you know, watch my next video. But let's get back to Joseph. He has a question. He has $2,000 a month. Uh, I'll take a moment and say, he didn't tell me it was a pension. He did not tell me his age. These are things that are, are missing. There's a lot of questions to be asked and answered before you can give an accurate uh, statement, is that enough money? Is he handicapped? Does he have issues? Does he need a caregiver? But let's just say he's an average Joe, right? 62 years old, getting ready to retire, um, has 2000 a month in retirement benefits, and he wants to come to the Philippines. Well, I think 2000 a month is very doable. 
It depends a lot on your lifestyle now. If you're a playboy and you want to travel island to island, constantly traveling, uh, you're going to be a little bit thin there. But if you're looking for a place to settle down, uh, you're looking for a place to call home, and you're, you're going to be uh, a little bit of traveling, not a lot, but every month goes somewhere. Uh, but, you know, you're not going to be flying out to Thailand once every other month, and you're not going to be flying to Malaysia. But you, you can go check out Mindanao. You can check out Cebu. You can check out uh, Alona Beach, Boracay. Uh, not all in one month, but you can check it out over a period of time. And that 2000 a month is pretty strong now with the peso being in the high 58 uh, to one dollar now. Uh, when I got here, it was 50 pesos to the dollar. So right now, the dollar's strong. If you're getting Social Security, you're going to keep getting the COA increases yearly as inflation goes up or down. And um, the other question was, you, I hope you have savings. And he did answer that. He said he had two savings accounts. One was 10,000 USD. The other one was 5,000. So he has 15,000 in his savings which is about what I had when I came here. I had 10,000 in my pocket, 15,000 in savings plus, and um, a budget of over $2,500 a month. But at 2,000, uh, with no big medical issues, no emergencies coming uh, down the pike that he's aware of, uh, he should be fine at 2,000. Just has to live a more simple um, life and he has to have good discipline on his money. Remember, you're always on the job here. Your job is to always make sure you spent less money than you have coming in every month. You're like a business and you're the business and you need to have a positive cash flow. So no matter how much your budget is, if it's 1,500, 1,000, 2,000, when the month is over, you should have one more dollar in your savings account than you had the month before and you're winning the battle and you're winning the battle. With the budget of 2,000 USD, uh, you should be fine. You should be able to pay four or 500 a month rent uh, to live somewhere comfortably and nice. You should be able to afford to buy a new motorbike or a used motorbike to get around. Uh, a car might be out of the question at this point. Uh, you'll be able to eat well and eat out often. If you're a single guy, just remember when you, there's two of you, it costs more. Two can live almost as cheaply as one, except when you go out to eat, you're going to be paying uh, for two meals. But your rent's the same. Your electric will go up just a tad more. Your water will go up just a tad more. But the basic cost of things will stay the same. And uh, she, she might be of great help to you in saving money also. So don't be afraid to hook up with a girl, have a girlfriend, a live-in. Hopefully it works out to be a long-term. Uh, but... Just stay on top of everything, obey the laws, obey the rules, get off the plane with a good heart, become a good person when you come here. And 2000 a month, I'm gonna give you the thumbs up on that. At this time in the Philippines, you can make it. And 15,000 in savings is a lot more than most people have when they come here. Trust me, you're gonna get comments down below where people will say, oh, you need 30,000, you need 100,000, you need 200,000. I don't think so. I didn't have that when I came here. Um, I've been lucky. I found a source of income with YouTube. But um, even if I didn't, I don't spend my total Social Security check every month anyway. So you can survive. You can survive. You can flourish. You can have a great time here. Make good friends. Careful who you hang out with. Don't loan money to strangers. Uh, don't fall victim to uh, scams and people that will prey on you and take advantage of you, uh, just remember the money you have is all the money you have. And when it's gone, man, life gets lonely here if you're broke. Prepare for emergencies. That's your uh, money that you have, that 15000 Let that be your emergency fund in case you need it. Uh, maybe work just a little bit more, save a few thousand so you can have you know four or 5000 in your pocket when you come to the Philippines. But I think you're going to be all right with uh with that amount and guys let me know what you think let me know what you think do you think two thousand a month is enough for a single guy i think it is right now especially with the exchange rate like it is and keep an eye on that exchange rate if it starts to drop if it goes to 57 56 
be prepared to tighten your belt a little bit. But cost of goods are high because of the exchange rate. If you want to buy anything that's imported, it costs more because uh, the peso's weak and it takes more pesos to buy that item and bring it here to the islands. There's nothing much more I can say to Joseph, just thank you for the question. And guys, on these budget videos, I'm gonna keep harping on this stuff. I'm an expat. I'm a retired old expat, married, living in Dumaguete. Uh, I'm not going to do too many videos on sexy hot women and you know, uh, you know, do they do BJ or other things. That's not my, uh, not my cup of tea, but I'm gonna talk about the budget, what things cost and how things are here in the Philippines. But uh, again, watch Alo Del Winter, uh, leave a comment to his uh, live stream, support Corinne if she puts her channel back up, Filipina Unfiltered, and I'll leave a link to that if she, her channel's still up. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.